Hey, I'm recording this video because I'm pissed a lot. And the name of this video is... Yesterday I was watching TV and they were talking about Bratislava. For those of you who doesn't know what is Bratislava, Bratislava is capital city of Slovakia and Slovakia is country where I live. Bratislava will be capital city of Europe next year. Maybe this year, but it doesn't matter. According to this fact, they were talking about purity or cleanliness or cleanness of this city. Basically, they wanted to tell us that Bratislava is nasty and dirty city. And one of the reasons of this bad situation is graffiti. There was interview in TV with this guy, mayor of Bratislava. He wants to fight against graffiti and he wants to spend thousands and thousands of euros for it. This is not the reason why I'm pissed. You know, I'm not a traditional graffiti writer and in my opinion, graffiti writers shouldn't destroy city. I have to admit that Bratislava is destroyed. There are tags and low quality graffiti everywhere. The reason why I'm pissed is that stupid TV because they were talking about two examples. First example is New Bridge. He's not new, that's just his name. And second example is underpass in center of Bratislava. These two places were always covered with illegal graffiti. Always. Now I'm gonna talk about that bridge. A few years ago there was graffiti jam on this bridge. There were graffiti writers from Slovakia, also from foreign countries and they made this place beautiful. Maybe for some of you is legal graffiti not beautiful, but it is always better to stare at something like this then stare at something like this. And in this stupid TV program, they pointed to beautiful legal graffiti piece with commentary. Bratislava is nasty city, graffiti is everywhere. Graffiti is really bad, etc, etc. Finally, after years, this bridge looks good just because of legal graffiti. And they want to tell us that it is bad. Second example is this underpass. I know that this place is really nasty and illegal graffiti were always there. But a few years ago there was ice hockey championship in Slovakia, in Bratislava and this underpass is right next to the stadium. City wanted to improve this underpass. They decided to call best graffiti writers from Slovakia and they made beautiful graffiti pieces all around this place. These graffiti pieces were about Slovakia and ice hockey. And it was beautiful. This is exactly how people should fight against graffiti. The only way how we can stop bad graffiti is graffiti. You know, graffiti writers, they respect good pieces. Especially good pieces from great graffiti writers. I know that we can't apply this to historical buildings or private houses, but it is perfect for huge nasty walls. For example, like that bridge or underpass. These places are like gallery of street art. Back to that stupid TV program. A few years ago they were also talking about that legal graffiti jam in underpass. And it was a great idea for them. But today graffiti is bad and we should clean these places. I don't want to talk about TV right now. Because they will always tell us what is good for them. Back to this guy. Bratislava wants to spend thousands and thousands of euros for cleaning of these places. You know, cleaning is good, but they also want to clean graffiti. They did it many times before and the result is always the same. That place is clean for two or three days and then some stupid graffiti writer destroy it. And you can't keep these places clean. Graffiti writers are stupid, they will destroy it, always. Today they will clean that bridge and also underpass and next Sunday it will be destroyed. They're gonna spend a lot for it, but they can also throw it out from window. Result will be same. The only way how we can keep places like this in good shape is with legal graffiti. One more time, I'm not talking about private property and historical buildings. I'm talking about huge nasty walls and areas where graffiti will always be. I really would like to know what they're gonna do. Because if they're gonna clean these places, they will just waste our money. But now, I would like to talk to graffiti writers. I'm not ordinary graffiti writer, because I do just legal stuff. And most of the time, illegal graffiti writers don't like it. 
illegal graffiti writers want to destroy things because for them it is part of graffiti and I have to admit that destroying city is part of graffiti but guys don't be stupid Bratislava has lots of legal areas and we should appreciate it please don't paint on historical buildings and the new buildings that's so stupid maybe you feel like badass and true graffiti writer but if you're gonna destroy a new building with your stupid tag you are an idiot you shouldn't paint on historical building never ever if you want to paint on new building okay but don't put there your stupid tag put there some beautiful colorful piece I saw it here in Bratislava one of our best graffiti writers, illegal graffiti writers, was painting on brand new house. But he made their beautiful piece. He still shouldn't do it. It is illegal, but at least it looks good. So please, find good spot for your graffiti. Don't be just stupid idiot who wants to destroy. We should have some respect. Okay guys, this is all from this video. If you want to, you can write me your opinion about this problem to comments. And I would like to ask you for help. Please, if you agree with me, share this video and share this idea. Maybe it will help. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching and see you next time.